In this episode, we're going to be doing a distance test on the SJR CF11. I think we got about a distance of maybe 500, 550 meters out. It's a big field, and we're just going to see how far we can get it while keeping stable FPV. I'm using a Galaxy Note 8. And after that, we're going to do, um, we're going to test the return to home on it, and we're going to test the follow me. It's very windy out here, so you also get to see how it performs and when. So let's get right to it. Okay, you arm your motors, and you hit your takeoff button. I'm going to turn the speed all the way up. Get my head cam adjusted for you guys. Okay. And here we go. So we're going to try to head straight across this field here. It is very windy. Okay, we're approaching a football field. It's a lot of wind. So I apologize if you can hear that in the mic. Now, I went out here before and I got all the way to the end of the field. So we're going to see if we can do that again in this wind. Okay, 300 meters out. Okay, we're approaching the end of the field. It's still going, as you can see, my FPV is still strong. Okay, 412. And then when we get to the end of this here, we're gonna we're gonna do the return of home. My control inputs are still accurate. I'm not okay, I got a little hiccup there a little bit, but nothing big. Okay, we're at 525. And we're, we're gonna stop about right there. Okay, and now we're gonna hit return to home. So we got out 564 meters. Okay, and it's coming back. It is very windy. It's It's gotta be like at least between 10 and 15 miles per hour gust. I'm not sure, but it's very strong winds coming from all directions. So I think it's flying pretty well. Okay, it's coming back pretty fast. And we're gonna see if we can get it on this mat here. hear it it's adjusting itself to point the way that it turned when it took off there it is up there you may can't see it because the drone is white and the clouds are white so the return to home one is actually pretty good so We'll see how close it lands. Normally it lands right on the mat or like it'll at least touch the mat. So. And 
And that's where it landed. Return to return to home off. So that's not too bad. Okay, there, and it landed right there. It's maybe about, I don't know, let's see. One, two, maybe like two and a half, three feet off. And now we're gonna test the follow me. And just a little heads up, sometimes it does toilet bowl a little bit. I don't know if it's a software thing or an Android thing, but it does tend to do it. So we're gonna get right to that. So arming our motors. And then take off. I'm gonna raise my head cam a little bit. We're gonna try to get right to it. So I'm gonna raise it up like this. And let me get that uh, screen recording for you guys. All right. So you can see me, I'm gonna walk down a little bit first. All right, raise it up. Okay, and now we're gonna hit follow me. You hit the controller, hit the little man running, hit follow me, slide it to the side. Well, let's see how it does. Hopefully it doesn't fishbowl, uh, or taller bowl, I'm sorry. Kind of the same thing if you think about it. <laughs> okay, so it's following me well here. So I'm gonna just turn around here and walk. Okay. Seems to be following very well. Ah, there's a little bit. It, like it's doing it a little bit. Tends to do it the longer it's in follow me. But it's still following, so let's go. When it did toilet bowl, it doesn't do it in enormous circles like I've seen other drones do. So yeah. Seems to be keeping up. All right, now we're gonna try running. So excuse me if the camera shakes on my head. Let's go. Try to keep it as stable as possible. And it's right there. It's right there. So as you can see, it's that circling a little bit. There we go. So we're gonna just stop that and you'll see it stabilize. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do a return to home check that return to home again so you can see how the return to home is okay All right actually you know what while we're here let's try out gestures then we'll return it to home gestures did work for me we'll see if we can get them to work again all right so right now it's not recording so I'm gonna wave and see if I can get it to record. Okay? Let's raise it up. The wind is really strong. It did work before, but, and I got it to start recording. Let's try the piece on. Now, it's very tedious how it works. I did get the recording to work before, but I can't get it to work all the time. So that's that. Let's see. Uh... When I try waypoints, it just crashes the app. 
so I can't get that to work. So I think that needs a fix. All right, so now we're just going to return it to home. So again, you can see how well the return to home is on it. And it looks like the drone's on low battery anyway. So as you can see, it did good. Got closer this time. It's about a, nah, maybe a foot. Oh, we got pretty close. And just flying it around and giving you guys an idea of how well it flies. Alright, so hope you enjoy. Again, before I take it off, flies very well. Very good quality. There we go. You arm it, push the sticks down and in. Then you hit your takeoff button. That's me moving it. Going to take it up. I'm going to be going up. May have to get it in frame. There we go. It's very exact. You turn it, it turns perfectly. It's very precise. And I like that about it. 